welcome to a demo of the new Keysight M9336A IQ Arbitrary Waveform Generator. Before we get to the demo, let's take a brief look at the feature set of this new product. It has up to a 1 GHz IQ baseband bandwidth. This allows you to create complex wideband waveforms. It also has three differential output channels, which can also operate in a single ended mode. This allows you to support IQ plus a third channel such as an envelope tracking signal or another signal that needs to be synchronized with the IQ signals. It has precise channel to channel synchronization and per channel skew gain and offset control. It also is supported with various waveform definition tools such as waveform creator and IQ tools. Now let's look at the hardware we'll be using for the demo. Here we have the Keysight M9336A AWG in the middle. The right is an oscilloscope, the new M9243A, and to the left is a digitizer, M9203. We will be using both of these to analyze the signal output of the AWG during this demo. Let's first start with a look at the M9336A soft front panel. The soft front panel allows you to control the arbitrary waveform generator, download waveforms, set waveform parameters such as sample rate or delay, and run them. It is broken into three panes, one pane for each channel. The next step is to download waveform files you want to use. We will just download several different waveforms at one time. Once these files are downloaded, we can utilize them with the AWG and output them to the scope. We'll first start with a simple waveform a sine wave. This is a 100 megahertz sine wave created at a 500 mega sample sample rate using waveform creator. Since we know the sample rate was created at 500 mega samples, we will set the sample rate of each of these channels. This will ensure that the AWG is actually putting out a 100 megahertz sine wave. Then the next step is to set the channel gain. You can set the gain in two ways. One is a composite mode, which combines the digital and analog gain of the AWG together. Alternately, you can set the digital and analog gain separately. We'll use composite gain here and maximize it in this demo. In order to synchronize these two channels, click the synchronize checkbox and you're ready to go. We should now be able to initiate and output a waveform. Let's take a look at these sine waves on a scope. We will notice we have two 100 megahertz sine waves synchronized together. The M9336A has a unique capability to upsample waveforms. All of the waveforms downloaded and output by the AWG are upsampled using Keysight TrueForm technology. They are upsampled to 1.28 gigasamples per second. One unique ability this gives you is to use a single file at a certain sample rate as we're using here and then step through output frequencies by simply changing the sample rate. Now, if we look at the output on the scope, we'll see that the two sine waves are synchronized, but now at around 120 megahertz as expected. Let's now change the waveform from a simple sine wave to an LTE signal. We'll start with an LTE 20 megahertz signal. This waveform is created with a 30 0.72 mega sample sample rate. We will set that now. When VSA first comes up, it'll be in a composite mode. We need, since we have an IQ signal, we'll need to change this instead of from baseband to single IQ. And we can see the 20 megahertz carrier here. When using VSA in a spectrum mode, you can use the full sample rate of the oscilloscope. But if we want to demodulate the signal, then we need to change the sample rate to half rate. Set a user rate to 500. Now we can recall a setup file. Notice we are now demodulating the 20 MHz LTE signal, and we have an EVM of around 710 milliperset. The M9336 does have the ability to, to adjust things such as channel delay and channel gain and other parameters. Here, let's see if we can improve the EVM by making simple waveform adjustments. Let's make a simple adjustment on the gain of the Q channel to adjust for any gain mismatches of the input of the oscilloscope. 
By doing so, we now notice the EVM has dropped considerably below 600 milliperset. This shows you the basic ability to change offsets and change delays to compensate for equipment that you're measuring the signal with or cabling, etc. Now let's move to a different measurement device, the digitizer. The M9203 digitizer has a lower noise floor, as we can see, and has higher resolution, so we expect to have a better EVM measurement. Now let's recall the state. Now when using the digitizer with improved resolution, lower noise floor, you will notice the EVM with the exact same output signal is much lower, close to 200 millipercent. As a final step, let's look at a wider bandwidth waveform. We'll now load a 700 megahertz OFDM signal, which has been sampled at 1.28 gigasamples per second. The next step is to recall the setup file. And you can see we are now demodulating a 700 MHz OFDM signal put out by the AWG. Well, that concludes this quick demo. Thank you for watching.